I will put up a more comprehensive write-up that pulls together the six areas of this course. I was really hoping to have a few minutes in this class to do it, but I'll put a five to ten page write-up on the website. It's called Course Wrap-Up, and it should be there in a few days. But I just wanted to just quickly show you here the exam is 25% of the course grade. I will pace it much slower than the midterm. I know the midterm was extremely fast. Um, there was about 3.6 minutes per mark. In the final exam, it will be five. I will give all the instructions for the exam. How did you well in this exam? Think about the questions. That's all I'm saying. I haven't set the exam yet. I'll set it this week. But the point of this course is to give you a set of tools and to think about when to use those tools. A few people came to me and said, well, for the take-home midterm, I used such and such a method, and someone else used a different method. I don't know, did I do the right thing? It's not really about doing the right thing. And that's probably what you will find a bit frustrating with this course. There's no right or wrong way to do a lot of stuff. When it comes to data analysis, there's several ways to do it. There might be a more efficient way, but there's alternative ways to do it. So when you get to a question, there could be multiple ways to answer it, depending on the tools you use. We've looked at several cases of that in this course. So choose the most appropriate tool, but also think about what you're doing. Think about the results. Does it make sense what you get? Can, can you justify it and afterwards? Uh, one thing that was a problem in the last call, in the last exam was I often had questions with say two marks where I said calculate and interpret. And people would just calculate but not interpret. So I'm not about cranking up numbers. You can do the, com the computer do that. If you can show me by hand, I can calculate that. Well, okay, that's fine. We'll get one mark. But the interpretation and thinking about the numbers and the data to me is much more important. Um, and justifying the choice of the two. I would also say I noticed in the last exam that people were just shuffling through pages trying to find things. Treat it like a closed book exam, but then just use your notes to refer back to it if you need it. Uh, it will be open book though, but, but go in with the methodology that's a closed book. Go through the previous assignments and so on. Um, and uh, just this, uh, I'll have this on the website as well, but bring in at least this copy of this page of Box and Hunter. And um, there's also previous exams are on the website to help you. So, uh, and my other advice is, if you've got a discrepancy of more than 60% between your take-home and your written midterm, so if there's a difference of more than 60% in those two numbers, it indicates you probably rode on the backs of your other group mates to do the, the assignments, uh, to do the midterm take-home, and you didn't quite understand what's going on. I'd say you put some serious study to do. In terms of the content for the exam, we'll cover everything in this class, in this whole course. Uh, obviously, the focus will be more heavily on the sections five and six. But I'll, I'll be specific on which pages in the notes is covered in this last section because I don't, I didn't cover everything in, in the section six. So I'll put up on the website which pages are important or which are, are in the exam. And then finally. It's a tremendous pleasure teaching this class. Um, if you've got any corrections to the notes, please let me know. You can email me if there's grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes. The website will be permanently available after this course. It won't necessarily be at stats4.lng on the market. So I'll move it to my own company's website. And I'll put a redirect link to that so that you can always get to these notes. Um, I'd like to hear about anything that you do that with this sort of materials that works out well or any issues you have. You can always email me. I, I, don't know, I use all of those emails. So, but all my email lands up in my Gmail. Email. And then, thanks for your interest, your projects, and thanks for test driving the first iteration of these notes. I know it's been frustrating that they've only been available the day before. That's because I'm writing them the night before. Um, but uh, you guys are the first people to use the notes. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks.